A paper's reaction to Liverpool's loss to Napoli at the Stadio Maradona in their Champions League opener. 4-1 it was. Neapolitan nightmare, one of the headlines. Obviously, Naples hasn't been an easy place for Liverpool in recent years. Luis Garcia joining us now to talk more about this result. Luis, what happened? Well, everybody's trying to find uh, an explanation of what happened to this Liverpool. Definitely, uh, it's not the Liverpool we all know. It's true that we enjoy watching them uh, when they are full flow, uh, with that high pressure, with that intensity. And we heard many times uh, uh, Pete, the second coach, saying that we don't, uh, we don't press, we chase. But we haven't seen that from Liverpool this year. Uh, we're trying to understand if it's because they've been working and, and challenging for every single trophy from the past four or five years, and at the moment... It's not easy after a, a, a little bit of rest that they have during the, during the summer. Uh, connect again, getting back to what they were doing last year. It's not easy to, to after losing two major trophies last year, to reconnect again and, and start playing like and nothing happened. So I'm not trying to make excuses, but it's true. They, they, they look tired, and not only physically, but also mentally. And that's something that you and is trying to play in some ways. They've been... In, uh, they had a few injuries in the middle of the park. The players are from, they don't look sharp. We've seen that Mo Salah is not the same Mo Salah that we've seen in the past five, six years. And that we knew they still need adaptation in the middle. Uh, in the middle of the park, Fabinho, that is normally the, the player who gives the balance, uh, maybe is not uh, adapting to the players. He's playing next to him. Only uh, Harvey Elliott has been fresh. You look there, that when he's on the ball, he's always creative. But I think that you could see that uh, the defense is not pushing as high as before, the pressing is not working, and then when you play against a very good uh, Napoli, that they've been one of the best teams in, in, in Calcio uh, in the first few weeks of the competition, you know that you're going to suffer. I expect a good reaction, I know that they're going to be in rotation, the, uh, the manager is trying to analyze what has been happening, I'm sure the man managing is the, the best thing that uh, Jurgen Klopp has been doing the past few years, so it's very important that he understands the player, uh, and the players need to understand that they need to change their, their mentality and try to bring back the, the basics that they've been doing for, for many years. What did you make of him taking Mo Salah off in the second half, Luis? Was that a message, or was it because he needs some rest? No, I think he, 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 I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not thinking that uh, he's trying to send a message to Mo Salah. Of course, you can see, and I'm, I'm sure that Mo Salah... Uh, knows himself very well, and you can see that he's not beating players uh, on, on, on 1v1s. He's not arriving to the box, he's far away from the box, actually sometimes too wide, not close to near the box where he is very dangerous. And I think that it's just to make the rotation, to try to bring fresh legs on the game. The, the, the team needed, I think the team played a bit better in the second half because you could see that he was uh, um, closer to, to on the pressing. The team was just in 20, 30 minutes, the no, the 30 meters, the normally what they do. And I think that Mozala needed a rest. I think that it's very important that players understand that it's very difficult to play 70, 63, 70 games they played last year. And they're going to be uh, rotations because also there is a World Cup in between and some of the players are going to need uh, some rest. But how can this be fixed, Stevie? Because you're talking about the, the squad needing a refresh. Yes, obviously there's injuries, mm. but before it goes too far, how can it be corrected? Well, there's, unfortunately, there's, there's not an easy answer. It would be great if they were in a position where they could change the personnel, but they're not. Uh, and so when you can't do that, it's down to coaching. And there's no question, you have, you have to sympathise with Liverpool as far as the injuries. You know, you, you're having to play James Milner who signed a contract, basically, to be able to give other players a rest and come on for half an hour. That, that's what James Muller signed a new contract for, and that's why they asked him to do it. But he's having to play in the biggest game of the season. And Harvey Elliott is a rookie. This guy's, this guy's learning his trade. And so when you've got two of your three midfielders in the positions that they're in, one with experience and one with too much experience, one with no experience, sorry, and one with too much experience, then the engine room is going to be in trouble. For me, the biggest problem is the back line, and that's down to coaching, because the back line looks as though they haven't worked on any sort of defending since the start of the season. It just, it's a complete and utter mess. And if they can work on that, you know, it looks like there'll be no games this weekend. I'll tell you what, Liverpool should be in every day. They should be on the field and walking through situations, walking through things that have gone wrong and walking through things that they've done well. You know, it's not, 
it, it can't all be negative. You can't just keep throwing this is wrong and this is... You have to... You have to get the positive things back as well. And that means that you have to go through positive things that you did previously. So this is all coaching. And, it's, and in my opinion, the biggest amount of coaching that he's doing is in the back line. Because right now, you've just got to get on with what you've got in the middle of the park. There's nothing you can do about that. Uh, well, the morning after the night before, Trent Alexander-Arnold has come under a lot of criticism, Luis. What have you made of the situation with him so far? And even his body language in the games? Yeah, totally true. I think body language says a lot about players and much more when you are outside watching them. Uh, Alexander Arnold is a special player, it's very specific. Uh, we understand that uh, his quality, his ability to touch the ball is just fantastic. Sometimes uh, when he's on the ball, he forgets that uh, he's a right back and right backs are to defend. The first thing that a right back should do is defense. That's the first thing that you have to uh, uh, apply to the team. But this Liverpool is different. Normally, they, these two players, Robertson and, and Alexander Arnold, they are so white, so uh, uh, going ahead, up front, and the last third is trying to bring. They, I saw the other day, one start the day, in between the two of them, I think they got 96 or see something like that. That's crazy. That's an amount that normally uh, uh, not even strikers or midfielders can uh, have. And that's something very important. That's something that is so positive for the team. But the first thing and I've seen in the past uh, four or five games is that there is a big gap in between uh, the centre-back and the right-back uh, over there. And I understand that when things are not going in the right situation, that's what happened with Liverpool because the, the team is uh, wide open, the lines are not as close as before because mentally you don't arrive or because it's just the start of the season, so you are not as fresh as you will be in two or three months. Then the legs are not following. And I've seen a couple of three uh, footage where he is running back every single time. There's one at the weekend against Napoli that is a little bit arriving earlier than him. So they need to understand that when you are in trouble in these kind of games, it's better to stick at the back, just hold, uh, hold at your position, be aware, and maybe be important two or three times. Not try to be important 10 or 12 times because in one of those situations, you're going to left and leave a lot of uh, space at the back. And Napoli knew that, and that's why a lot of the contractors, they were arriving from that side. Do you agree with that, Frank? What are your thoughts on Liverpool's defence so far? Well, it's been a concern, that's for sure. And I already talked about Van Dijk, that I uh, don't recognise as a Van Dijk that we used to know before his injury. Uh, and it's not due to him. It's, it has to recover. He, and they... They couldn't find the chemistry. That's the big secret of, uh, of Liverpool. And that's what uh, it's where, you know, um, uh, Mr. Klopp has to uh, become again a magician. He has to find again uh, how to make sure that the team is going to play 100 miles an hour all together vertically uh, and uh, at 100 percent uh, in their mindset. That's the thing. When I see the body language of Van Dijk, of Alexander Arnold and also Salah, I realize that the players are not ready to make the effort that uh, Klopp is demanding for, for in order to get that, that game. And to, and to compensate the, the right and the left back, you have to have a Fabinho or Thiago uh, at hand 100 percent, which is not the case either. So it's not only one player, it's not only one line, it's all the lines we're not capable of doing the effort that the football that Klopp loves is demanding. Right now, that's the main concern. And because they're not fresh, I'm very concerned about Liverpool this season because in the middle of the season, you will have the World Cup. So how the players can get a rest, how you can rotate because you have injuries, and how you can change the, the, the mood of the players if you don't have the choice of changing and resting the players. That's going to be very difficult this season, I think, for Liverpool. Luis, there's a feeling among many right now that this Liverpool side just isn't the same without Sadio Mane. Stevie was adamant on yesterday's show that it's nothing to do with Sadio Mane going. What are your thoughts on it? Yeah, I totally agree. At the end, one player, of course, you can make the difference in one game or two games. We are talking about a group, a group effort. We are talking about not all the lines are, uh, are working as they, uh, the way that they were doing before. We're talking about the line of defence and... Uh, we just heard Van Dijk is not the, the right man at the moment, not the, the, the one that we know. Uh, Robertson has been a lot of talks about him. Alexander Arnold, you go into the middle, there is no players. There is not about one player or two players that they are not doing the right things. I think it's about 
Uh, the concern is about the whole team. The team is not working the same way that they has been doing. Not because they don't want, not because it's not the desire or the commitment. It's not because of that. It's because at the end, sometimes, uh, again, we forget that the, these are human beings and they are a problem. And when they see this situation, it's not easy to get back off. Listen, let's change again and let's start running the same way. Let's try to change the, the play. Let's start to make a, a, a 20 runs or 50 runs. It's not about that. It's about trying to uh, uh, regroup everything, to go to the basics, to start uh, from the back. You, uh, I think Steve just mentioned, let's go and work in the defense. Let's tie it up there and then start building up because they still have the same quality up front. And with Darwin Nunes, he's a fantastic player. Luis Diaz showed last year. Diego Yota, when he arrived to Liverpool, it was fantastic. And of course, you got the top scorer with, uh, on Mo Salah. But the first thing first, Start the build-up, start um, giving the confidence once again to the players that they, it, it looks like they have lost so, uh, at some point. And after that, when you have that confidence, the mind will do the rest and they will push you and they will start running the same way that they, they've done it before. OK, let me get a quick yes or no from all of you. I'll start with you, Luis. Do you have any concerns that Liverpool won't finish in the top four come the end of the season? No, no concerns. I think they will uh, go into the top four. Frank? No, I want to believe that club's going to sort the problem out. And I want to believe that because of the talent of the player, they're going to sort the problem out as well. So they, they're strong. Comparing to the 18 others, you know, except Man, Man City, I, I, can, I, can, uh, I can trust them that they can finish at least second or third. There was a tiny pause there from Frank. <laughs> I noticed a tiny pause before he gave his answer. Shaka, where are you standing? My, my short answer to that question is not yet. They've got, given me nothing to suggest okay. that they're top four worthy, um, but just given who they've proven themselves to be, and I, th I still think can be, I think they're just about getting. Stevie, yes or no? I think they'll just about get there. So no worries. No concern. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say Does that look like a face who's worried? Does he look worried at all? Is this the face of concern? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> a little. A little. A big bit. <laughs> you supposed to have courage in your convictions. <laughs> There's no, no courage. There's no, no, no courage, courage in them convictions. I think it might be a not yet from Stevie as well. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.